So there's one day, then there's two days, and then there's the third day. And then, you know, if you break consistency, consistency, if you break consistency within, you know, the two days, you better make sure that on the third day you, <laughs> you get right back at it. All right, I'm Josh V. Castro, you beautiful, handsome, gorgeous, wonderful people. How's it going? It's been a while, right? Did not do that on purpose. There's reasons, but I won't make excuses about it. But I'm here, and today is... Probably the third day I haven't uploaded a video here on YouTube. And you know, with that, we're going to be talking about the two-day rule. That's right, the two-day rule. Someone already uh, coined this term. I forgot who. There's a lot of videos on it, so I don't know who's the originator. Like, you know, I've heard, I've heard Thomas Frank talk about it. I've heard about, I think, Ali Abdal talk about it. Probably even Matt Diavella. So... Yeah, you know, if you check out, maybe, I'm not sure, but yeah, the two-day rule. So, yeah, this hashtag project nine-minute video, we are now on 14, day 16, 12 plus 4, 16. Yeah, we're on day 16 of this project, and like I said, we're going to be talking about the two-day rule. So, the two-day rule is basically that if you are doing something if you're habit building you're forming a consistent schedule you're trying to accomplish something that has a daily you know a daily task or you're obligated to do this daily to you know to better your life to better your lifestyle to form this habit to improve the way you are living right then then this is a good this is a good concept to apply into your life, all right? I try to apply this into my life. For instance, this video, all right? So if it's been two days since I haven't uploaded a video, it's like, it's like making a deadline for yourself. So that on the third day, you know, you're obliged, you're more pressured to put something out there, all right? So, yeah, because there's, there's a thing about more than two days, from what I've understood, from what I understand, okay, is that... After two days, to a certain extent, your motivation, your drive, your goal, you know, after following, following, after following something consistently for a certain period of time, and then you just break off one day, I'm like, one day is fine. I'm like, you can probably get back at it the next day. Probably life happens the next day, then you don't get back on it on the other day. And then on the third day, you might find an excuse to actually skip that day, and it'll go to the fourth day. And then the fourth day, I'm like, all right, I missed three days. Then you're just feeling down and then you just don't feel up to it. Then it's now five days and then it's a week and then it's a month and then it's a year. It just gets worse, right? Just because you skip two days. Yeah. Uh, that's probably exaggerating, but it does happen, might happen, probably happen to you. You don't know. I don't know because <laughs> all I'm just saying is that. You know, this this concept, this idea, this two-day rule that I'm speaking of can probably make or break certain aspects, certain things that you're trying to achieve in your life without you knowing about it. And, you know, if you just mentally keep it there that, okay, it's been two days, I, I got to schedule this for tomorrow, I got to put this in my planner or my to-do list or my checklist, and then I make sure I get out of it first thing in the morning so that I make sure that I can get that flow state back on track so that I can get my habit back on track, my my consistency streak you know you know not locking um get going in getting in every single day checking in all right so that you're back on track that's that's what this this idea this concept this thing like i said will do in your life like for instance you know working out normally you should take a break Right, because you know you have to give time for your muscles to actually grow and regenerate. But you know, say after five days of consistent workout, right, and then you do your you know Saturday break. Then you know Sunday you do like some light active exercise. Then on Monday you <laughs> you you skip Monday because probably there was an event going on. Tuesday you were just you weren't just feeling up for it. So on Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, you better make sure that on Wednesday, regardless of whatever life happens, do something, all right? To an extent that it doesn't have to be exactly what you imagine your, you know, your fitness routine, like let's say your fitness routine maybe, but, you know, just do something, like anything that is related to 
in this example, fitness. All right, it could be like five minutes of jogging or jumping jacks or jump rope. As long as it's related to that idea, at least, you know, when you do that, you might continue or not. If you're like, you know, there's other like third party things in the world that can probably prevent you from doing something. But yeah, just keep that in mind. But at least there is that glimpse, that, 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 that thought that you did not give up, that you did not put down this responsibility that you set out for yourself on that day to yourself to make you a better person or to live a better fulfilling life. So yeah, the two day rule. There's also, huh, there could be a drawback, honestly, with this idea, this concept. I, I, I say idea concept because I think that's what this is. Basically, it's not really a theory. No, it's not, let's not say that. But yeah, the drawback is it could probably pull you down. I'm like, it's probably like a double-edged sword, per se. Because, you know, when you keep on thinking about it, and then, you know, it's two days. Oh, no, it's four days. I missed two days already four days ago. All right, don't don't think of it like that. Think of it as a motivator, as a wake up call to you. Like, oh, it's been four days now. All right, it's been two two days now. I need to wake up. I need to get back on track. I need to pull myself together. All right, I need to lift a burden that is actually meaningful. You know, take on responsibility. You know, live that life that you want to live. Pursue your passions, your dreams, or regardless of the hard work that you have to put into you know, doing whatever it is you want to do. Yeah, so don't think of it as something negative. Think of it as something, think of it as a challenge to yourself that was living yesterday, all right? So that way, you're challenging yourself yesterday to become a better person today so that tomorrow, you can challenge your today to be a better person. Then that idea i keep on i probably expounded on that in a different video but that will compound you know that one percent rule where you strive to be one percent better than who you were yesterday today and then you do that over time uh ex exponentially the things you can accomplish will be unbelievable trust me i'm like unbelievable in a way that you can't imagine that you can achieve that you just have to give it time consistency hard work dedication and the discipline to show up. So yeah, this just with just think of it, you know, try it out. Two days of you know, you could probably even make it an excuse. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm tired today. I still have tomorrow. Because you know, the two day rule, right? Then I can just show up on Wednesday. Yeah, don't think of it like that as well. Probably you can. I'm like, I'm not I'm not holding you against it if you think of it that way. I'm like, oh, I didn't make a video today all right today is day one all right i'm not gonna video, make a video tomorrow because i still have a chance on the third day um that's not a mindset i want to <laughs> put into you or give you but i did say it so at least we're aware that that's not my intentions so yeah hopefully you guys did learn something all right found value out of this tomorrow i have no idea what we're going to be talking about tomorrow hopefully it's going to be something interesting probably like three second rule or the five minute rule or whatever um well i will we'll see we'll see tomorrow so yeah thank you so much for you know joining joining this this session all right that's gonna be this is gonna be about nine minutes now so thank you so much you gorgeous beautiful handsome persons and i will see you next time bye